Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and I'm focused on spreading magic by discussing Disney, DreamWorks, and animation. And today I want to understand who Shrek and Fiona's kids are. Finally, I'm hoping to understand everything we know about these special ogre babies. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you'd like to join this lovely community, I promise we don't even stink that much, then consider subscribing. After talking about Hiccup and Astra's children, Zephyr and Nuffink, and piecing together everything we knew about them, and seeing such a positive reaction to that video, I knew that eventually I was going to do the same for Shrek and Fiona's children. When they appear for such a short amount of time, but are a part of the legacy of the ogres we connected with for so many films, it just seems like we should have a grasp on who they are and who they might become. Plus, I've been having so much fun talking about DreamWorks, and this idea was one I wanted to do for a long time, so it felt like the perfect moment. That's why I'm here to make sense of all of their appearances. While Shrek was pretty hesitant to become a father in both Shrek 2 and Shrek the 3rd, once Fiona has their triplets, they quickly become a parental team to raise Fergus, who you can identify from his bald head, Farkle, who you can identify from his tuft of hair, and Felicia, who you can identify from the bow in her hair. All three of these babies have green skin, the classic long ogre ears, and a desire to be as gross as possible. But what also separates them is that the boys have brown eyes, while Felicia has blue. Farkle also has dark, almost reddish hair, while Felicia has kind of blonde hair, and they are each associated with a color. Fergus is tied to orange or brown, Farkle often is linked with blue, and Felicia is associated with pink. This is seen on their clothing and in the storybook in Shrek Forever After. As little ogres, they have a lot of the natural ogre behaviors that we have seen Shrek take part in throughout his life, like pulling earwax, playing in the mud, and blasting belches. Blah. They also have massive farts and poops with dangerous amounts of throw up. Not as much as in Shrek's nightmares, but it's still there. These triplets were mostly normal, high-maintenance children who were noisy, messy, and sometimes a bit stressful to take care of when they weren't drinking their slug juice or snoring while they slept. And when they were sleeping, they were so darn cute. What sets them apart, though, from human babies is their high level of strength. They were small, but they were clearly growing into formidable ogres, as we can see from Fergus being quite the kicker, Farkle having a powerful punch, and Felicia having a tendency to hang on to the Dronkies when they are airborne. Kind of a dangerous act. They were much more daring than I was as a kid, and still kind of are. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty conservative when it comes to high-risk activities. For the ogres, though, it was just normal. From a very young age, they were mobile and on the go, which meant they were off going to play pretty rough, which was not a good thing for Puss in Boots and any animal they came across. They weren't scared of snakes or lizards or wild rodents. Fergus, Farkle, and Felicia were ogres, and nothing was going to make them scared, which we see when they are preparing for their first Christmas. In fact, we see on their birthdays that they are growing up to be ogres like their parents who are learning everything they can, especially from Shrek. When Shrek roared on their birthday, they started yelling roar at each other playfully, and when Shrek trumpeted with his ears, they immediately did the same thing. The triplets looked up to their father, which is something I can relate to a lot more. I still don't like being in the sand or the dirt or the mud very often. I'm much more of a clean guy and definitely not as aggressive as they are, but looking up to my parents is definitely something I continue to do. And how couldn't these ogres do that? I mean, these little ogres have to be the next great generation of epic ogres since they have Shrek and Fiona as their parents. They were, of course, going to be the scariest, the bravest, and the most dominant ogres in the land, which we see on their first Halloween. Shrek was going to make sure that they were going to be ready to take down anyone they wanted candy from. Go get those King Candy Bars, boys! Look who got her first clump of hair! Oh, did you see? Farkle got him in the ankle. What about little Fergus? Nothing yet. They also got to help Shrek and Fiona scare their friends and pelt the seven dwarves with seven eggs, which is one of my favorite moments of Scared Shrekless. There's times where I'm not a fan of satirizing or poking fun at fairy tales. Sometimes it can feel so cheap or forced or with a false sense of awareness, but there are so many moments in Shrek that I just absolutely embrace it. What set Felicia apart from her brothers for the longest time, other than her being a girl, is that she learned to speak before them, which we see in Shrek Forever After. Wake up, Daddy! Wake up! 
Yeah. And this is actually a common occurrence. Often females develop speech before boys of the same age. Her brothers inevitably followed their sister's lead though, and all three ogre babies were able to start speaking by their first Halloween. All three of Shrek and Fiona's children were on their way to become formidable ogres out in the world. They were strong, brave, and fearless, and had the ability to inflict fear onto others. But I'm sure with their parents' guidance, they will become just as noble of heroes. And in particular, I really hope that Felicia becomes a warrior leader like Fiona did in the alternate Forever After timeline. Maybe Fergus could become the embodiment of Shrek, and Farco could take Fiona's current place as a level head who guides his strong-willed siblings through their lives. That's kind of what I would want them to become. But let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are surrounding the future of Shrek and Fiona's children. Could any of them turn evil in some type of Star Wars-esque twist? Or do you think they will all be good? Also make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.